All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the streets, another night in the air. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my hand on my right. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me out. As a corrections deputy, this job is much different than being a road cop. We're with the inmates for an extended period of time. You know, we could have people up to two, three years here. You need to be able to be a lot better, I believe, with dealing with people. You need to cooperate, sir, okay? It's all about cooperation. A lot of times when I'm joking around with the inmates, it seems to calm their nerves and generally get them to laugh and be able to go through the process better. Hey there. How you doing? Well, the site. I'm looking for you. I didn't know what you do with that blue rubber bow, I guess. <laughs> well, well we're gonna <laughs> do that crazy eye thing again. Crazy eye. You want to take off your coat there, Dad? It's my partner. Is there any jewelry on anywhere? So, have you been diagnosed with a mental illness? Um, it's a bad illusion, but... What uh, the was that? I didn't hear that. They said bad illusions. Dr. Mullins said a bad illusion. Yeah, you're putting your shoe on the wrong, on the wrong way. Can I have an estimate of what time of... About I'm four ready. hours you'll be with us. Unless you're bad. All right, come on over. Have a seat right there. You very soon, very soon. Psychiatric hospital. Don't touch my Just settle down. No, I don't want to settle down. Okay. I, need, I want to go to the hospital. If you don't settle down, it just gets worse for you. Okay, okay fine. And basically what we did was we just got everything off of him, all of his property, and he continued to be disruptive, so we left the handcuffs on him. Uh, diabetic? He's hurting me, these cuffs. Can you right. take them off? Yeah, we're going to go right I'm down. in your we're joint. We're going to go right Take them off. Okay. I'm not going to kneel down. I'm not going to kneel down. You, you, you want the cuffs off? Yeah. If you want the cuffs off, kneel down. I'm not going to kneel down. Dude, I'm damn it, everybody hit. You like it, don't you? You hurt me. You don't have it on you. Can you get it off? Good job. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Stay just right there. Okay. Very okay, good. Back up. Can I get up now? Appears to uh, have a little mental problems. Would be my guess. What do you need? Well, what? I'd like to uh, have some uh, psychiatric help. Okay. When we can take you out of here in a little while, you can talk to the medical and let them know your concerns, and they'll get somebody to talk to you. And when would you do that? I'll do it here in a few minutes. How long is that? A few minutes. How long is a few minutes? I don't know. I'm asking you. I told you I'll do it in a few minutes. <laughs> I said that I want to talk to my psychiatrist. I remember you and said that. And I want to talk to the mayor. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's. Are we clear? Let's get you to see medical first, who can authorize the conversation with your psychiatrist. Yeah, I'm not a medical professional, I'm a deputy. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what the star means. Yeah, I'm impressed. You should be. You're a punk. That's your opinion. Yak, 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 you don't talk back, right? That's right. Yeah. 
Okay. I love you. Yeah. The way he's behaving, he's probably going to stay with us for a while. You know, in here, it's all it's all behavior based. So, you got a good attitude, you'll do fine. If you got a bad attitude, you're going to have a little tougher time. Stiff down that last mat down there. Hello, Stephen. Hello. My name's David. I'm the I'm the nurse here. What's your medical pro problem? I have post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh huh. What do you What do you take for it? I take uh, I I I take uh, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, have Have you taken your doses for t no. today? Why? I was arrested. I'm gonna be in here. No. That's why I would just have sit down. I would child? sit. I would sit down have you ever and be been quiet. Hurt as a child? That is not. That doesn't matter. I, I am assessing. Me, you locked me up. Put shackles on my hands. I did. This is Nazi Germany. Don't you settle down long enough for you to, to be released? I don't have to. You don't. I don't have I don't need your medicine right now. Call my doctor. Hey. This is Nazi Germany. He's angry, as you can tell. His biggest deal is post-traumatic stress dis disorder. Now, do you maybe think we'll he's coming life. down off something, or if he's maybe coming like drunk, no, or think, is it? You think it's a psych issue? I think it's a psych issue. He's a person from the medications that he quoted as a person that has trouble con con controlling his temper. So that's that's going to be it. He's going to be angry until he, he gets out. Uh, deputy in the jail. Responsibilities include anything from uh, you know, working court security to the main grand lobby to uh, housing units, intaking hot arrests, and uh, overall runnings of the jail. The guy coming in, faked a seizure, went to St. B's, and I guess he's really intoxicated. Okay. Ready to go? Yes, We're ready. please. You gotta really drunk guy. Mm -hmm. Got a warrant. Brother can't do it. He's super drunk. Mm -hmm. And then he mysteriously has a seizure in my car, which he announces by saying, I'm having a seizure. Wow, yeah, right. What's his name? A lot of fun. Chip or Charles? Or Charles. Um, we'll see how he is. Chip, he's talked to me. Uh, oh, he's, he's laying, laying down. The whole time. Yeah. Nope, we are most interested in having you cooperate and on your own power, get out of the car. So let's uh, let's work well, towards I'm that. Very sick. Okay. I can't mm -hmm. even move. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide. You understand? Out. Okay. Here we go. We're I, yeah, you're gonna go ahead. And, you know what? We're going against, 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 not against. There you go. There you go. Now, I can't I can't even feel feel my arms. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, don't right, Thank you. Now that works. Works for me, guys. That's stupid. Yep. Yeah. Let's just throw me in the Right here. You got anything on you? Do you have anything on you that you're hiding? Why don't you try getting stabbed once and spend four and a half months in coma or getting shot? Yeah, you'll understand then. I'm just a body of my... Well, sir, you're refusing to walk, so we don't really I have a choice to do walk. this. Okay, do you have another suggestion of patting you down? I have a suggestion, put me in a wheelchair. Poke their... Go ahead, just rip me up some more. That's all right, I got a morning still. Happens to you. Great, oh, this is lovely. Yeah, I need a blanket. Yeah, it's just mainly by the sewer. Thanks a lot, guys. I need something to I understand you. that, okay? I'm listening to you. Go ahead and just Ryan, put it up by your head and keep it there. I just, I wish arm. the best yeah. for you. God bless you. You are so sweet. Chip, can you hear me? Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Listen, buddy. I have a citation, okay? You're under arrest on the warrant. You're being lodged on the warrant. But due to the seizure incident, okay, and the fact that the paramedic and the doctor do not believe you had seizures, 
I'm citing you for initiating a false report. You understand? Okay, I understand. Give it to my lawyer. Okay. Um, put it in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Right. It's hypoglycemic, he says. He wants something to eat. He's demanding to see medical. He's demanding a sandwich, but he won't even let me get a sentence out. Won't even let me tell him what my expectations of him are or what we're going to do. I think he's just too intoxicated. I understand. I need something to eat now. You want me to die? No, I don't and want you to die. I want you to fall. stop kicking the just door. Come up here and kick out. I want you to stop kicking Give the door. Give me something to stop eat Stop hitting now. the door. I don't work real good with now, okay? Yeah, you sure I, I don't, don't do real good with demands. This holding cell is not the only Go option ahead. we've got, okay? Stop. Option? All right. Well, I need something to eat now. Here we got two more disruptives coming in. Yeah, two more. He's coming in for disorderly conduct. He's intoxicated, uncooperative. They want to have the chair ready, so he's. that would mean that he's pretty uncooperative. We're going to get that ready. Okay. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. All right, now listen to me. You need to do what these deputies tell you to do, or you're going to get tased. You understand me? Oh, they going to tase Do you understand me? What? Are you going to tase me? Go and put your feet outside the door. All right. Go and stand up. Your Lift your left open. foot up. Lift your foot up out of the, out of the hobble. There you there go. There you go. Go and walk, walk forward. There you go. OK. Let's go. All right, like against the, um, totally against the law. Face the wall, man. Make me. You don't want to get. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Face the wall. Kill me, then. Then kill me. Chill out, dude. This is only making it worse. Oh, look at you. You're only making it worse. Stop moving. Stop resisting. Look at that. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Waste, waste belt first. Someone get a knee in there. Ouch, there ouch. There Tuesday's tip, don't. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Oh, Stop dude, resisting. The dude has got his knee in my crotch. Stop resisting. It's because you're kicking. You stop kicking, they stop leaning on you. Oh, so it's crotch thing, yep. huh? Uh, <laughs> I want child abuse. So what do you do? I'm a nurse. I'm here to make sure you're safe and healthy. Really? Yep, that's why I'm here. So what's yep. her name? much just disorderly conduct so when he uh, when he settles down we'll get him out of the chair we'll get him to see medical and uh, most likely he's not gonna be here very long we'll, we'll, uh, we're gonna release him in the morning so he just needs to sober up and settle down a little bit County Sheriff's Department, Second Shift Intake, Corrections Division. Jail's located right downtown Cincinnati, so we get a lot of different people from all around, different aspects. We get drugs, theft, soliciting, anything you think of. The thing about being where we're at down at intake is they hide needles everywhere. 
They'll tape them to their arms. They'll hide them in their socks. And to me, that's one of the biggest fears is getting stuck by a needle. Assault. Yeah. Stepping up here with me. Who'd you assault? Oh, well, a boy that was with my friend who was running his mouth. Stand between the yellow prints, feet together. Oh. Feet together. Is that what your charge is, assault? That's yeah. all it is, assault. This guy came in, looks like for assault. Slurs. You're saying racial slurs? Yeah, it was. It, I called him little boy, and I, that's what he's saying. It was like racial slurs. Uh, I'm gonna have a little uh, talk with my friend because he's he, uh, he's a uh, little confused with racial slurs because he's he takes medicine too and he's easily manipulated. What well, medicine does he boy, take? How old is he? He was 12. 12. He was running a 26 year old running with a 12 year old because he was uh, pitying me because he was going to go get him a video game or something like that. And he had been living with his grandma there for a while. Well, what kind of assault did you, did you hit? I did, did you I, he swung on me, and I pushed him back. The 12-year-old swung on you? Yes, twice. And then I just... Was it a big 12-year-old? He's pretty... Uh, pretty big? He's uh, he's about my he's about my height. Hey, but I'm going to take these off and your hands out of your pockets. You understand? Fine. Well, he's half your age. You're I 25. Know. And he's, he's, uh, he's a regular troublemaker around our neighborhood. And... I just... So what you're I, saying is the 12-year-old had it coming. I was just letting you know. So what... what, what Take your jacket off. So that's what started. You called him little boy. Yeah, pretty much. And he has uh, issues... Is he black or white? He's, he's got a violent issue. He brands airplanes. Is he black or white? Well, I mean, it is a racial slur. Well, I didn't see it as a racial slur. I was just calling it like it was. I mean... Get out on well, as of right now, you don't have a bond, but you got to talk to pretrial. They set the bonds. We'll take all your personal information, key it in, then you can use the phones. Grab your shoes and socks. Yes, garbage bags. Am I not putting them back on? Or yeah, yeah go ahead and put them on. There. Grab your coat. No, no, no. No? Keep it Keeping the coat? All right. Let's have a seat right there. I'll just tell her that she's going to have to be on standby to pick me up. All right. Well, good luck to you. All right. All right. What's your story? Where you work at? <laughs> Water restoration company. Where? Water restoration. I'm away to a meeting. Have you done it before or what? Yeah, it's happened before. Is this like a it's compulsive like thing or? No, it's not compulsive. It's be the last time. I mean, we don't get too many people coming in here in a suit. Yeah, so I'm asking. I know. What are you trying to steal on that? Uh, it was equipment. Equipment? Yeah. So you didn't know they have uh, sensor tags on them and stuff? Or? They had sensor tags. Sensor tag didn't go off. Uh, didn't? Yeah. All right, so how'd you, get, how'd you get caught? I might be asking. I came back in. You came back in? Mm hmm. By the Xbox. It was for an Xbox. Okay, uh, now, the now accessories you... Accessories and then came back into my Xbox. Ah, so how they know you, you stole the accessories? Camera. So you went back to the scene of the crime to get more. You weren't nervous going back in? Yeah. They stopped you uh, after you were paying for the Xbox or... I know. As you were paying, and they stopped you in line? I uh, actually went and walked out the door. So I'm just closing on a house right now, so... Oh, oh, really? My wallet at the lawyer's house. Closing on your house? Yeah. The house you bought or the house you sold? The house I'm buying. Really? You didn't steal that house, did you? Have your shoes? You married? Yep, 18 years. Does your wife know that? Nope. She don't know what happened? Nope. It's not going to be good either. Is that how you're going to call to pay Mr. Bale? Is that who I'm going to call right now? Yeah. Nah. Temptation was there, huh? What do you think your wife's gonna say? Oh God, I don't know. That's probably part. that she's done. That's more nervous than actually being in jail, ain't it? Yep. Having to tell her, keep your hands out of pockets for me. Oh, sorry. She's not waiting at the closing, is she? Nope. She doesn't have a clue where I'm at. All right, what you're going to do is grab your shoes and socks, grab both your jackets, grab your bag lunch and your juice, get your dinner, have a seat on the blue bench. You cannot use the phone until a lady on the end says you're good to use the phone. All right, man, good luck to you. Thank you.
Bet you I can hear your wife from over here when you get on the phone. Thank you. We were called for a shoplifter. He walked out of the store with the merchandise hidden in his coat under his left arm, and they stopped him on the sidewalk. When they brought him back in, they had already seen him earlier. He came into the store, left, came back. And they knew he had taken other products, but they didn't witness him putting it in his coat. So when they brought him back in, they asked him where the other merchandise was. And at that time, he admitted that he had taken other stuff. So we had a consent to search form signed by him, and we located the property inside of his vehicle, and everything was recovered. So he's more nervous about calling his wife than his wife now than actually being in jail. Right. Which I don't blame him either. He's the best dressed prisoner I've had. married 18 years four kids got caught stealing an xbox so she's coming down to bond you out yeah i had the money to buy myself out but they won't let me do it so you called home you told her you're <laughs> you got picked up for an old probation violation <laughs> yeah. And she fell for it, I take it. Well, she finds out the truth. Uh, I guess I'll find out here in a minute. You better not come back in here after you tell her either for domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, it's the system. <laughs> The doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my head. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up out of here. Just give me out, just give me out. And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight 